On Saturday the 14th of November, Longton played host to Hereford. It started well for the home side, taking the lead thanks to a Scott Rawlings penalty. But after eight minutes following a Hereford attack, Longton were reduced to 14. The referee sent off Garrett Rawlings for punching. This seems harsh as on second viewing, Rawlings was clearly punched first. Amazingly, the Hereford player wasn't even shown a yellow card. The Longton players accepted the decision and regrouped. Shortly afterwards, Hereford were lucky not to have a man sent to the bin for this late tackle. Hereford did manage a couple of attacks and were awarded a penalty shortly before half time. With Garrett Rawlings watching on from the line, Hereford missed the penalty. Longton attacked again, but due to more indiscipline, they were reduced to 13 men for a late tackle. Tony Wheat must have been thinking today wasn't going to be his day. In the second half it became much darker and the conditions got worse, forcing both teams to use their packs. With eight minutes to go, Longton got a precious try after a massive rolling maul, allowing Joel Boot to touch down to make it 8-0. Longton missed the conversion. But 8-0 was enough to hang on. Was 8-0 a fair result? Uh, I think so. I think the effort we put in through the entire game, I would have been uh, a bit aggrieved if it had come out any other way. Uh, obviously, big, big changing points in the game, the sending off and then the yellow card being down to 13 men at, at one point. Uh, a lot of dog and determination to go in at half-time. And uh, yeah, I'm proud, proud of the boys, the effort they put in. And, and the sending off you mentioned, can you remember much of what went on? I saw, I saw the first bit, I didn't see the retaliation. Uh, a lad's come leading into, the, into a tackle situation with his uh, forearm and fist showing. And then the lad's gone and retaliated, and the ref's seen the retaliation, so he's got no other option but, but to send him off. Uh, it's a shame he didn't see the, the first, uh, first incidents. Uh, really hard, it was not much in it. Between either side, I mean, obviously, you know, we had 14 men for 60, 70 minutes of the game, which makes it even harder for us. Um, weather didn't help, wind, the rain. It's always going to be a tight, forward-dominated game anyway. I don't think it was, I don't think it was ever in danger of being a high-scoring thriller. Hopefully, now, in a couple of weeks' time, we'll, we'll carry on. And the fans will be hoping this victory will open the door to even more success. Paul Jenkins at Trenton Fields.